up guys this is Captain CW and today I bring to you guys another video now this video is gonna be a little different than usual it's not gonna be directly related to contract wars but it's gonna help you guys out for whoever wants to start a YouTube channel or already has started one but is not too sure about what softwares to use to record and whatnot so I'm gonna basically show you guys the softwares and everything and all the settings that I use for recording my gameplay for this channel so firstly I'm recording with fraps for my screen right now for the desktop but I don't use fraps for recording um, for recording the contract wars so the program firstly the program that I use to record contract wars is called DX story now we're gonna open up DX story alright so as you can see here we've got DX story open now I'll put the link in the description below if you want to purchase this uh, this program and I'll put also free alternatives if you guys don't have the money to purchase DX Store. but I highly recommend you look into DX Store because this program is very good now you can record in a very very nice um, a very nice quality while not sacrificing too much frame rate in your game so it doesn't really cause poor performance like fraps while you're playing it doesn't drop your frames you know honestly when I'm playing contract wars and I record with DX Tori I drop I drop like a maximum of five frames a second and usually it's it's pretty much nothing I you know I drop like one to five frames a second which really doesn't affect how I play now these are my settings that I use is really not much to just except for the codec now the codec is called Lagrith lossless codec I'll put the link in the description below to download it it's not built in so it's a free that free download so once you got DX Tori you can download the codec install it and use it now the, this codec is basically lossless so it uh, it really doesn't um, sacrifice any any quality in the video um, in the video itself and the video output so this is a, the best codec you could possibly use in DX Tori so now quality obviously I keep it 100 and there's really not much to change of course the frame rate I keep it at 60 because I record my videos at 60 frames a second but you can choose to do 30 if um, if you want to so anyways these are my settings for DX Tori. Again, if you don't have the money to purchase this program, I'll put free alternatives also in the description of this video. So, yeah, I'll also put uh, other cheaper alternatives if you guys are looking for a paid um, screen recorder, but a little cheaper than this. But anyways, yeah, this I've tried lots. I've tried Bandicam. I've tried Fraps. I've tried, you know, multiple other ones for recording contract boards and. To be honest, uh, the X story is my favorite. So that is it for my recording program. Now I'm going to show you guys what I use to record contract was what browser. All right, so the browser that I used to record contract wars is called Safari. Now I've talked about Safari in a previous video. And um, I talked about how Safari helps you um, get better frame rate in Contract Wars. Now, Safari is one of the only browsers that actually work for recording with DX Tori for recording a browser based um, game. So um, it works both ways. It helps you get better frame rate and it also helps you. Uh, it also is one of the only browsers that you can actually use to record with DX Tori. So we're going to open up Safari with my. Um, because I have two processors, I'm going to open it up with my high performance and video processor. So if you do have multiple processors, make sure you open it. You always open your browser with your best processor as you're going to be recording with it. So um, you want to get the best possible um, performance while you're recording. So we're going to open up Contract Wars. As you can see, I can't even spell today. I'm just thinking. Alright guys, so now we are in Contract Wars. So once we are in Contract Wars and we everything's loaded up and all, so we're going to go back to DX Tori and as you can see here in the profile, we're going to select that and then go all the way, all the way down to, um, it should say Play Contract Wars, a free online game on Congregate. So select that and that should be the process, the Safari process. So once we've selected that, we basically selected um, contract for so as you can see here it says video and then the frame rate so it's locked at 60 as of right now now I'm gonna show you guys a uh, a trick I use to break the um, the the con the what's it called contract for is frame rate frame rate lock which is capped at 60 now if we want to record at 60 frames a second we want to ideally be playing at a higher frame rate now how we do this is go to let's let's join a game for now so let's 
quickly join like a B5 um, deathmatch. As you, there we go. That's a good one. So we're ju we're just gonna wait till it loads up, as you can see there. So this is basically a terminal command, or <laughs> not a terminal. Sorry, rather a um, a, de a developer command. So the key under the escape key. Um, I'll put the symbol on the screen right now. So. If you click that button, it opens up kind of the developer um, the developer window. So we're gonna type in target and then frame rate and then space 120. So target frame rate 120. And as you can see there, if you see the uh, the frame rate change, it it's not locked at 60 anymore. So we are getting over a hundred frames a second. So that's much better than um, recording at just 60 and then especially if you're going to record um, at 60 frames a second it's going to drop it a little so if it's a little better it's of course better to record at a higher frame rate while you're playing so yeah that's pretty much it for recording software now in um, regards to let's just exit this match so now I'm going to just go through the settings that I use to record um, in game it's really simple. It's actually just the default high settings. Um, you can you can go maximum if you want, but I just keep it at high. I don't know. I, d I just feel like it'll drop some um, some frame rate, and it's it doesn't look a lot different between maximum and high for me. So I just keep it at high for me. And if you if you want, um, you can. Uh, I personally recommend you always record at a relatively high setting. Um, it just looks visually more appealing, of course, and also. Um, uh, yeah, it just makes your videos look a little more professional. So if you want, you can um, if you want to record at high, I'll always make sure that your lighting quality is at maximum. It really looks nice, and um, that uh, once your lighting quality is set to maximum, otherwise it doesn't really look that nice. But if you want a better performance with the high sort of settings, you can always go to texture quality, reduce that shadow quality. I I'd keep that medium. It really doesn't affect the performance that much. Lighting quality, keep that at maximum, as I said, physics quality, that doesn't really matter. I don't really know what the physics quality is in this game, the differences between them, but anyways, if you guys do know, let me know in the description down below, or, sorry, the comment section down below. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, of course, if you do have performance issues, you can lower the settings, but and also tweak around with the custom settings, but anyways, yeah, that's pretty much my settings in... Um, and how I record my game so that's pretty much it for recording um, in Contract War so if you guys um, watch this video um, I hope I helped you guys out in choosing the best possible recording setup now this is mine and um, I am personally pleased with these uh, with the written you know with the software that I use the Xtori and the quality videos um, that the Xtori produces so yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope I hope I helped um, at least someone out there who wants to start a YouTube channel and um, and record or already has started one but is not sure as to where to start and whatnot. So yeah, I hope I helped someone out. And if you guys like this video and found it helpful, um, be sure to leave a like. And if you guys want to see more sort of YouTube tips and tricks on this kind of a type of tutorials, let me know and um, I will be sure to make some more. So that is pretty much it for this video and I will see you guys in the next one.